Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the second half of 2023-24 Panini Obsidian Basketball Picker Team number four. Second half of the case that we popped open a little bit earlier tonight. Big thanks to this group for making it happen on a Wednesday. Hump day, hump day. Eugene, you ended up with last spot Mojo with the Warriors before I pulled the remaining teams for the random number block. Just a small four-teamer, which we did in a separate video. And we've got the results right here. Did I upload that? Uh, I did, but I need a title, put RNB in front of it, random number block in front of it. All right, so yeah, so that's loaded up. <clears throat> All right, and let's roll. Did not see, I don't know if they're guaranteed one per case, but I did not see any uh, color blasts or anything like that. So maybe they'll be here in the second half. Those little tabs weren't pulled out, all right. Let's slide the two base cards off from the bottom. Put those right on top. Ooh, that could be a low numbered card. Slide out these over here. We got Taylor Hendricks. It is low numbered. One out of five. Actually, you know what? I need to grab some more top loaders. But uh, Taylor Hendricks, Tristan, Jazz, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Good start. Let me grab some top loaders. I ran out. A grip of top loaders. All right. So that W's a W, Rex. I I wouldn't complain about how how you're getting them. At the end of the season, they're they're they all count the same. All right, there's Zion, 74 out of 99. Serenity with the Pelicans. Julius Randle, these two are not numbered. Knicks. And there's Asur Thompson, Detroit. Kenneth picked up Detroit straight up. Nice. All right, and your hits, box one, box one hits. Good luck. So full room here. We have a sore Thompson, Equinox gear. What up, Josh? Wow, is it 13 straight losses by the White Sox? So they're due, right? So am I putting the house on the White Sox tomorrow? 52 out of 249, a sewer Thompson, Detroit, Kenneth. And a couple autographs we have Royce O'Neill, Galaxy Inc. I like the background, the spacescape background that they're using this year. That adds a little more more uh, more depth to the to the artistry of this card. Uh, Brian with the Suns at 63 out of 149. And we got Jaden Hardy, 47 out of 75. Volcanic autograph for the Mavs. That's going to go to Tristan. Got the Mavs straight up. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if, you, uh, if you're watching live, you can click the, the, the link that's pinned in the chat to vote in our poll. Who's going to win? The NBA final starts tomorrow. We'll be watching game one here together tomorrow. Hopefully breaking some basketball, discussing some basketball, all that fun stuff. I mean, that's true, Rex. They almost won their last two games, but like I said about wins, no one counts almost ones. 
by the time everything's said and done, no one talks about how they how the wins were were won when they count it all up. All right, let's use this blank card here. All right, we got Devin Vassell, 41 out of 99. Spurs, Tristan. Yeah, I think I think Josh was the first non-Rex to say something in the chat for a couple hours. 20 out of 75, Brandon Pazemski. Nice uh, orbital card there, Warriors, Eugene. No, it's been pretty pretty quiet today. And there's DeMar DeRozan and Chris Murray. Bulls and Trailblazers. Yeah, Josh, I mean, you guys you guys lost a uh, Trey Turner didn't even skip a beat, didn't matter. Kept winning. There's Bilal Koulibaly, 34 out of 49, unbreakable relic. Nice. Big jersey there going to Andrew and the Wizards. You're a wizard, Andrew. Yeah, if you, as a Dodger fan, Josh, if you ask me what team that I'm terrified of, it's the, uh, it's the Phillies. There's Tari Eason. A volcanic autograph, that's for uh, the Rockets. That's going to go to Zane in Houston. Forty-four out of ninety-nine. And Jalen Clark, four out of forty-nine. Two color patch and autographs for the Timberwolves. That's a random number block team. It's a serial number break or a serial number team. And that's going to—I'll show you if you're not familiar with how this works. We go by that digit right there. Not that one, but that one. So it's going to go to Minnesota 4. And that's going to be for Tristan. Yeah, I think, I think that losing Ronald Acuna Jr. probably hurt the... jammed up the uh, Braves a lot more. I think the Braves have also have been... Lost some starting pitching that they that they could use, but the Phillies have mostly been pretty pretty healthy. True, Josh. Yeah, the the dirty secret though is is the the Dodgers seven eight nine hitters uh, are are not very good. <laughs> That's been a that's been a big uh, it's been a big struggle for the Dodgers. I mean, I suppose not every every team's seven eight nine is not very good, but look at the un, if you look under the hood, it's not it's not good. It's Jaime Hawkins Jr. Fourteen out of forty nine. For uh, Kenneth in the Heat. And I guess the Braves were struggling a little bit before Acuna, but that's a little tougher now. Donovan Mitchell, 33 out of 99. Cleveland, this is for you, Brian K. And then there's Luca. We'll see him in the final starting tomorrow. And a Jaime Hawkins rookie card, another one for Kenneth in the Heat. Josh Rex has a question for you. As a Philly fan, do you love Kyle Schwarber or do you wish they trade him? Rex feels like it's always either or. Here's Scoot Henderson, 54 out of 249. Nice rookie relic, Eclipse relic for Portland. That's going to go to EA, Portland. I feel like Schwarber's a pretty good, pretty good fit for that team. You know, you know what you're getting out of Kyle Schorber and what you're not, as the case may be. And always adds, you know, the dangerous element of, uh, of a home run in that bat when you, when you need it the most. Here is Galaxy Inc. Torrey Craig for Dabulls. 
Doubles. But I think with the lineup protection that Kyle Schorber has around him, if you're counting on Kyle Schorber to be the offensive focal point of your team, I think that might be a little difficult. But I think that if you got some good bats around him like the Phillies do, I mean, I think he slots in nicely. There's 10 out of 99, Walker Kessler. Yeah, I think the idea is with, with Schorber and the Kessel would go to Tristan and the Jazz. I think the idea is just give them as many at-bats as possible. Top of the guy, top of the order guys usually get more at-bats, more chances for him to hit, hit, a, hit a home run. But yeah, the Philly pitching, Zach Wheeler, Aaron Nola, Ranger Suarez. Woo. They've been looking great this year. Yeah, well, you know, Rex, playing outfield is more than just having a cannon for an arm. Obviously, as a former catcher, his arm is always a plus arm, but I think his outfield positioning, the route that he takes to a ball, is the liability. We had a die cut in there too. Here's Larry Bird, 35 out of 99. Matt with Boston, and I just think there's just there's just better defensive guys out there, right? Casanos, Whit Merrifield, even Christian Pache. Those are the guys who started in the outfield today. I think those, I'd probably take those guys over. Over. Um, Schwarber in the outfield. Volcanics, look at this dick. Grady Dick. Right, Brandon Marsh when there's righties. He platoons a little bit, but I think, is that a, uh, yeah, the Volcanics is a one of the ultra rare inserts. He's a pretty solid player too. I saw him in Summer League last year. Um, and Toronto is a random number block team. Wow. So that's a non-numbered short print right here. That's gonna get randomized to one person in that random number block, either Tristan or Jeremy. Cross your fingers, guys. And they both have an equal number of spots too, so that's a 50-50. There's Austin Reeves, Julius Irving, and your hits. We got Jason Tatum, cutting edge relic. 53 out of 249. We'll see him in action tomorrow. Matt with Boston. I'm not sure why the Angels, I'm watching Padres Angels right now. I'm not sure why the Angels gave up on Brandon Marsh so quickly. I feel like he's a young player. I feel like they could have used him in the, could use him on this team, but I don't know. I guess that's why the Angels are the Angels. There's Boban Marjanovic, two out of 49. Last game of the season, Rockets were playing the Clippers here in LA. It was towards the end of the game, meaningless game. Didn't matter for Clippers seeding or Rocket seeding. Boban was getting some minutes. They, uh, he realized, and he's a former Clipper too. Boban realized that if the row team misses two free throws in a row, everybody in the arena gets like free Chick-fil-A, gets a sandwich or something like that. So Boban misses Misses the two intentionally and is a hero, a man of the people. Marjanovic goes to uh, Zane and the Rockets. Good guy, Boban. And then we got Aaron Wiggins, three out of 75. Magmatic. <laughs> That's right, suck. That was a huge, huge dick. Grady dick. The first big trade, I don't know. Well, the Blue Jays GM, I mean, this could just have been blue, uh, GM lies. You know, GM, GMs always lie. But he was like, seemed to be pretty insistent that, that Vlad Jr. or Bichette would not get traded, but we'll see. I don't know, it's getting to be that part of the year 
like I used to, like I, I like to say, the first two months, you kind of evaluate what you have in your team. The next two months is trying to, just trying to figure out how to upgrade that team. And then, you know, the last two months, you just kind of, kind of roll with what you have. Here's DeMar DeRoe, oh, Mason Miller from the A's. I feel like, I feel like the A's are gonna ask for the moon and then some with Mason Miller. DeRozan 25 will go to Brian K and the Bulls because I think he's a rookie. I think he's got like four or five arbitration years or something like that. Team controlled on a cheap deal, you know. 42 out of 49, Darius Garland. I mean, I'm not sure if you can even get value back. A lot of GMs seem to say that, uh, this will go to Cleveland as well. A lot of GMs seem to say that if you're if you're trading for relief pitching, you're almost always going to overpay just because of the leverage that's behind that. But There's Tumani Kamara, 55 out of 249, Eclipse Relic. But yeah, Blue Shades GM is terrible, Josh is saying. Wouldn't be sorry if he did something stupid. Yeah, who knows? I mean, I think I think with the expanded playoffs in baseball, I feel like a lot more teams feel like they're in it. And it just seems like they wait longer and longer before they actually pull the ripcord on the season. Uh, Portland EA gets that relic. A couple autographs. A lot less uh, redemptions in this uh, second half. I guess they were, all, they were all in the first half. There's Amir Coffey, Galaxy Inc. For the Clippers, Eric M. For the Clip Show, 21 out of 25. And the last one in this box is Steph Curry. Steph Curry Magmatic Autograph. Woo, Eugene, Golden State Warriors, last spot mojo. Seventy percent of the time, last spot mojo hits one hundred percent of the time. That's twenty-four out of twenty-five on that one as well. Nice. Got to figure out what they're gonna do with Clay Thompson. There's like, there's some off-season things that the Warriors will have to figure out. All right, final box. There he is. Yeah, last spot mojo strikes again. You're welcome, Eugene. Thanks for taking a shot on the Warriors. He's on the box, too. Nice, I think zero redemptions in this half. They were all in the first half. I feel like there was a redemption of box in the first half. Oh, another dick. 21 out of 99. Grady Dick for Toronto, the random number block group. So they'll go to Toronto one. Tristan. We've got a Supernova Scoot Henderson for the Trailblazers. That's for EA. <laughs> we got a couple dicks. Four out of 25 on that one. There you go, EA with Portland. And your final hits, good luck. We got Keontae George, 12 out of 25. Nice unbreakable two color relic. Tristan with the Jazz. And we got Chuma Okiki, Magmatic Autograph for Orlando. That's gonna go to it's gonna to go to Scott with the magic. Do you believe in magic? Where's the number? There it is right there, 28 out of 75. And the last hit is Isaiah Wong, 90 out of 99. Rookie relic for the Pacers. That's gonna to go to Tim. Got the Pacers straight up. Nice second half, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks everybody for getting in. Now we gotta see where this uh, where this volcanic's dick is gonna go. 
So let's go to uh, let's go back to the list. So Toronto's a number block team, so it's only going to be this group involved right here. So let's gather all these names. New dice, new list. Name on top gets the dick. Five and after five and a five, ten the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Jeremy Port, last pot mojo again. Sorry, Tristan. But Jeremy, this volcanic dick going your way. Pretty solid player as well. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. And I'll see you next time for the next basketball break. Bye-bye.